Hey GearFAX friends, in my life I don't use the word hate. It's a very strong and very negative word, but it's okay to hate the DD305 from Livingston. Whoa, now that's a bit harsh, other Glenn. Hey GearFAX friends, I'm just going to overlay a few additional comments on this video because the DD305 actually doesn't sound that bad. I think I was just annoyed because I couldn't play it. Let's focus on the sounds. So there are about 20 drum kits that you can choose from without a great deal of variety. But there is a reverb control with three levels, so that helps. It's really hard to get rhythmic with these small pads. But when you play the backing tracks, that's when you realise how bad this thing really is. Well, okay, the backing tracks do sound like a cheap keyboard from the early 90s. I'm being a bit harsh, but those beats are really old-fashioned considering the recent release date of this unit. But come on, other Glenn, you have to admit some of those drum and cymbal sounds are pretty sweet. The sounds are good in their own right. It's just... hard to play. And these little pedals don't help. I guess the idea is to make drumming a compact experience instead of a big logistical nightmare. Good in theory, but they've packed too much into one unit and created an unplayable monstrosity. I'm not a proper drummer, but I can hold a beat on a kit. I cannot make it flow on the DD305. And these accompaniment tracks... You can see what I mean. Okay, let's make a serious attempt at live play. Maybe a real drummer could get more out of it. Yes, quite possibly, other Glenn. Anyway, here are some other good features. We've got a hefty power supply, but it can also run on batteries. The built-in speakers are acceptably loud, and it's good to see that we have some USB capability too. You also get to do this. Pleasing. 
So honestly, friends, what application does a machine like the DD305 really have? Well, it's extremely hard to play, so maybe on stage if you just needed to activate the occasional little drum riff or something, even as a toy, I don't think it's going to bring much joy to children, and it's certainly going to bring no joy to their parents who have to hear this banging sound all the time. Looks like something out of Darth Vader's man cave. Thanks for watching my review of the Livingston DD305. I look forward to seeing you on the next one where hopefully we'll look at something a bit nicer.